Citizens Development Center was founded in 1951 to meet the scholastic and socialization needs of children with Down syndrome. At that time, there were no provisions in the public school system for children with mental disabilities. The CDC gave these children an environment where they could learn and grow in a loving atmosphere. In the 1970s, the federal government mandated that public education be provided for all children, including those with disabilities. Our programs then shifted to meet the new community need of adult vocational services, such as job training and placement, to ensure these individuals workplace success after graduation. Our mission is to empower men and women with disabilities to achieve their highest level of independence and employment. For some of our clients, this means jobs in a competitive work environment. For others with more severe disabilities, it means working and training in our work center. To accomplish our goal, we need businesses that are willing to hire our capable clients. We need companies to provide fulfillment jobs that our work center clients can perform and we need operational funds to increase our staffing levels. CDC is successful for several reasons. We employ experienced, well-qualified staff. Our placement counselors are trained in evaluating clients' job skills and matching them with prospective employers. Our work center staff helps our clients learn to perform a variety of jobs and be proud of their accomplishments. We understand the importance of partnerships and collaborate with more than 30 state and private agencies to provide a comprehensive array of services for our clients. We also partner with more than 40 local businesses that provide the contract work for our work center clients. At Citizens Development Center, we believe in the uniqueness of every client. We customize our services to each client's needs to ensure they will achieve their employment goals. We also evaluate our programs every quarter to determine which aspects are working effectively and which ones need improvement. Based on the results, we're able to make critical program decisions and implement strategies for program improvement. Also, every few years, our board and management participate in a strategic planning session that allows us to analyze our agency's goals. CDC analyzes a variety of metrics to measure the success of our programs. We track the number of clients employed in community employment. We also track the percentage that maintain their jobs for at least six months, and we calculate average wages. We look at the percentage of clients that successfully graduate from our work center program, and we track the percentage who achieve their individualized goals. We also use quarterly surveys to measure client satisfaction. The most important thing that sets our work center program apart from adult daycare is that our clients are given the opportunity to work and produce a product. This is not a handout, and that's very important to them. Our clients do realize the fruits of their labor, and they're as excited as anyone when payday comes. Many employers don't recognize the skills of our employment clients and that these individuals make great employees. Our staff often has to advocate strongly for our clients before employers will give them a chance. One of the great things about our work is that our clients' families also benefit from our services. When we give our clients a place to work and socialize, the parents or caregivers are able to have a job and provide for the family. Our employment clients achieve well-paying jobs and become tax-paying citizens. In 2009, we began providing employment services to veterans with disabilities. And in 2012, we expanded our work center program to include an offsite work group for 22 individuals. We are proud that our management and fundraising expenses are at a low 17%. As with all nonprofits, we constantly face financial challenges. The economy, state funding fluctuations, and increasing operations costs make it difficult. But increased grant writing, 
cost-saving measures, and excellent financial controls have kept us viable. Another challenge is employers' biases and fears and the high unemployment rate for persons with disabilities. It's also difficult to secure enough fulfillment jobs, jobs that companies prefer not to do in-house, to keep all of our work center clients busy all of the time. But so far, we've been successful in finding community jobs through our emphasis on business development and partnerships. Additional resources would let us place more clients in jobs and help us provide additional on-the-job support to clients who are already employed. It would also provide more one-on-one -on -one training and individualized services to clients in our work training program. Additional resources would also allow us to upgrade our aging facility and replace our outdated computers. We would like to expand our job placement program to assist more veterans in finding employment. Funding for veteran placement services is difficult to find, but there is a definite need. Although we do provide placement services for veterans, we are limited since there's no current funding for this service. A great addition to our program would be an employment counselor who would focus 100% on veterans with disabilities. This would be a natural extension of our mission to serve people with disabilities and help them live a life of purpose, independence, and dignity.